This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Lorenzo. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. How's it been going, my Cory Gang Fish Fam Gang? It's your boy Chris. Rapashi's not here because she is tucked away in her little hidey hole. I'm not gonna grabby grab her out. Also, Millie's. Millie's not here because she was here like last week, right? <coughs> Question, does anyone else sneeze 10 times in a row? Yes, those were sneezes. Nobody ever says bless you to me because they think I'm coughing. I always have to bless myself. You know how much mana and chakra that takes? Anyways, I ain't complaining. If Millie's not here, she's not biting my neck. Ugh, naughty naughty. If Rapachi's not here, she's not pooing on my mic. By the way, Millie also poos on my everything. Without further ado, fish tank review. My husband dropped our new bed of fish. What the hell is that tank? Wait, how did you drop the fish? It was, it looked like it was going in for sure. It was directly over the, oh gosh. You dropped it in the nasty, okay. Finally. There's a lot of sea monkeys in there. There's a lot of brine shrimp. Man, that, that fish is not looking well. That looks like a shocked fish. That reaction is reminding me of a very fast death. Maybe a day, two days after being put in. You can see the fish calms down a tiny bit at the end, but it's... I don't think this fish is going to survive for very long. And it makes sense. Like, it was out of the water for a while. It was being dropped into their unwashed sink full of disgusting dishes. I'm glad it, like, fell on a towel or something and was quickly retrieved because it was, like made its way down into the gutters of that sink. Who knows how long those dishes have been there? Ugh, damn, that is disgusting. I absolutely cannot stand just having a bunch of dishes in the sink. Like, you know things are growing in there, right? Unspeakable horrors are being cultivated in your damn sink that is in your house. Clean it. If you have time to eat, you have time to clean. Usually when you cook, you should be cleaning anyway so that by the time you're done cooking, there's not many dishes left. Besides the point, what the hell is this tank? Salt water too small sea monkeys will be eaten all around this is just terrible a very very hard watch that's salt water how do you know it's salt? i'm not sure if this is a hundred percent definitely salt water but brine shrimp which is what sea monkeys are can only live in salt water so unless they've been there for only a short amount of time that's salt water that did not look like they just put the brine shrimp in there for the better fish to stack on that looked like the brine shrimp were living in there. That's a very astute observation. Everything in this video is crusty as hell. I agree, their whole house is crusted over. Like the crusty crab, but with like 27 different health violations. Instead of torturing fish for lols, they should be cleaning that kitchen. So apparently, as I've read on, the tank is actually dedicated to the brine shrimp, and it's been running for a while because there's algae all over the ground, all of the substrate. And it's an especially small tank. That's not even part of the big issue, which is that it is salt water. You put a betta fish into salt water. It will shock its system, and I guess that explains why it was spazzing out extra hard at the beginning, not just from being dropped and being out of the water, freaking out. Betta fish are not brackish or salt water by any stretch of the imagination. So that's going to run a number on their system before killing them. That betta fish did not survive the night, let me tell you. At first I was like, okay, it's not that bad, right? They've put brine shrimp as a live feeding snack for the betta fish. Little did sure I know, that? that is a heavy negative five out of five. I am salty AF about this video. If you are salty AF about this clip, what better place to rant about it than the FFT fish keeping discord? Check it out in the description below. It is Patreon access only with free links sometimes. You get a lot of perks, including access to the discord channel. Thank you guys so much for the support and show your love for this extra short ad portion by smashing that like button. This tank is sent in by Savvy from the Discord FFT server. It is their 120 gallon angelfish, gourami, rummy nose, cooliologe, a very big Siamese algae eater. I wonder if it's as big as King Chonk and they got a Cory Gang in there as well. Beautiful selection of stocking. Your angels are looking very healthy. Look at that gourami flaring up. Beautiful colors. Actually now I'm looking at it. Have I seen this tank before? <laughs> Has it been growing out? Because it's growing very nicely. It looks like a pretty darn well-established tank. I like the sort of heavy scape towards the right of this tank and balanced out with that nice healthy sword. Valleys in the back with lilies as well. The Anubius Barteri adding texture and the husbandry is obviously very good. 4.75 out of 5. Keep it up. Peace Peaceful Aquarium Enthusiast Starter Pack. Mmm, bubble sounds. Water trickling sounds make you have to pee. I guess so, but after a while you kind of get used to it. High risk of electrocution. No joke, that
that is what my power bars look like around here. <laughs> I got like, so that's a massive power bar over there. There's a pretty big power bar over there. There is a small power bar and a huge power bar over here as well. And they all kind of look like that. <laughs> I feel called out empty tanks in the basement full of supplies. <laughs> Pothos clippings sticking out of the tank. I'm staring right at it. Has either house plans and or reptiles, probably a cat too. Not a cat, but I got Millie. I definitely got Rapash and I have a whole bunch of house plants. Buckets. Yep. Yep. Yeah, the aqua clear going blah, 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 blah. This is very on point. Five out of five call out. I don't know why, but I feel triggered. You and me both, buddy. I am uncomfortable when things are about me. These guys are speaking my mind right now. This tank is sent in by Nubian. They want some advice because some of their plants have died. Well, first of all, Nubian, thank you for sending in your tank. It looks quite spacious for that one betta fish you have that looks very healthy, very cute. So your plants are dying, but most of the time when new plants get introduced into a new tank, they do end up dying regardless. And then they tend to bounce back. You to keep your parameters stable. Watch out for the java fern. Do not actually plant their rhizomes into the substrate and make sure your substrate is actually a nutrient rich substrate. Lots of floaters up top. That's great. It's sucking up excess nutrients from your water column and it's blocking the light. But if there's not enough, your floaters might be doing too well sometimes and taking that stuff, those resources from your other plants. To rate your scape right now, it'll be a 3.8 out of 5. A great start to the hobby. In the shop. A new price tag? Maybe a hundred dollars? 200? Probably 200. Sale. 50 cents. If this is one of those feeder goldfish, it'd be like 33 cents. I mean, first of all, poor fish. Okay, I feel bad for him. I'm sure to someone out there, he would be worth 200. But I guess this is just a reminder, a friendly reminder to all of us to check our egos. Having a sense of self-worth and self-esteem and confidence is very important, don't get me wrong, but sometimes if we become too cocky, one, it doesn't look good to the people around us. Two, it causes more issues. A lot of different conflicts can be avoided if we just kept our egos in check. Ego review. Sea urchins like to put rocks and shells on their heads to protect them from predators and the sun. So an aquarium 3D printed hats for them and they love to wear them. How did I not know about this until now? This is single-handedly probably the cutest thing I've, I've seen all year. And they just love it because it's covering their heads for them. Probably their vulnerable spot, like their mouth and anus. I'd like my anus covered as well. That one's a Viking. Top 10 cutest things of nature. Axolotl subreddit is a gold mine. Is this anything I should be concerned about? You appear to have an axolotl in your aquarium. <laughs> that is very concerning because that automatically means that you're probably losing sleep because you're wondering, hey, if I wake up in the morning, is my axolotl going to be dead? They're very just sensitive creatures that die easily and are stupid. Very concerning. Would have been very concerning had it been in Norway. All amphibians are illegal in Norway? What? Like even in nature? That's tragic. Damn, that might be the first L thing to come out of Norway. <laughs> yeah, aren't their jails even really good? Like if I go to Norway and I can't find a job, I'll probably just like steal an apple, get put in jail get free like swedish meatballs or i might what am i talking about norwegians seem to have an irrational fear against any reptiles and or amphibians is this actually true bun bun lover 22 sent in their betta fish tank named goby very apt name for a betta fish they have kind of the same temperaments very grumpy most of the time likes to protect their own territory this person is operating on a very small budget and they are 14 years old so this is a great start by the way when i was 14 well let's just not even go there got that thick white substrate both rockscape and woodscape with a live plant the tank looks clean. I think it's like a rimless. It might be a little small for your betta fish, but heck is it already miles better than a lot of other people. If you have a bigger budget in the future, upgrade the tank to at least a five gallon. For now, you're doing great. Four out of five. Keep it up. Bonus points for hardwood flooring. Aquarium ownership. Enjoying my fish. Accidentally dumping 10 gallons of water onto the floor. <laughs> I think I've done this less than 10 times, but more than five. And it's one of the most horrendous things. Like I live in an Asian household. I don't know how I'm not disowned owned yet dumping a whole gallon of water on their floor <sighs> i gotta do better i wouldn't know how to feel if my kid dropped a whole gallon or 10 on the floor i'd flip out Damn, how, how do my parents do it? Got some Mountain Dew in there. Damn, that is some hardcore Mountain Dew. Right beside the window, you know how it is. Unlimited sunlight, uncontrollable for the most part. That's what you're gonna get. Very healthy bunch of water lettuce. Taking care of the nitrates, a dual filtration system. But the green water, I gotta say, it's not the best aquascape, but it's, it's pretty nice for the fish. It's very healthy, especially for goldfish. Constantly giving them some nutrients. Because apparently goldfish don't have stomach. The things we feed them go straight through their intestines very quickly and out the other end. Trees 
sent in their 30 gallon peeve puffer tank with otosynclus. Dual species, love to see it. This is a very amazing aquascape, which I do also feel like I've seen before. Have I reviewed this before? The woodscape is really nice. I like the detail on the choya wood. Kind of black water biotope with some fallen leaves. And in my opinion, one of the best ways that artificial decor has been used. This is like the skull of maybe some dinosaur or something. It's artificial, but it really works with the rest of the scape. It doesn't take away from anything. It's not distracting. And once you notice it, it is kind of cool. And it provides more surface area, provides more hidey holes, especially for Odo's, pea puffers, amazing tank. You know what? This is getting my five out of five. It's not every day on this channel on FTR that you get to see a fish tank with a bit of artificial decor get a five out of five. Congrats. I found this cool driftwood on my quad daily walk. How many cubic kilometers of leech should I use? <laughs> when I go out for walks, especially with my girlfriend, she thinks I'm an actual dog because I'll just be on the lookout the whole time for like branches or driftwood that I could use. Most of the time it's too big for the tank and I'm always pointing out like if that was just like five times smaller, I could take that home and put in my fish tank. Bro, it's called being an artist, okay? I have an eye for this stuff. Always stay grinding. This hobby ain't cheap. You get whatever you can for free. All right, me when my brain tells me to add more fish into a 10 gallon tank that only has my beta in it. Man, if only most people are able to control themselves like this, population control. My six year old coolie loach about to commit natural selection. Two hour old baby shrimp. Damn, that's nice art. If I was a two hour old baby shrimp, that coolie loach would definitely look something like that to me. It would be a whole serpentine dragon of mythical proportions. Didn't think of it like that. Coolie loaches are actually crazy scary if you're a two hour old shrimp. I saw this in a retail store. Bro, how small are we taking this? Does anyone buying that really think that is a good idea? Looks like we still have a lot of work to do as a channel, my fishy bros. This is Odo. Odo says, man, that is a perfect punctuation emote for that fish. <laughs> I mean, look at him. Damn, congratulations on your fat ass Odo. It's hard for them to like survive sometimes because they're so dumb they can't find the food. But this guy knows exactly where to find all the food, very clearly. Congratulations. The only smart Odo in this whole world. Thank Thank you guys for watching all the way till the end. Welcome back to the end of the video. I gotta remember to say that because I think a few times I forget and people got mad at me in the comments. Now for real though, thank you for staying until the very end, pushing that algorithm, but let's not forget Katwa. This week's question of the week. What instruments can you play? Not to brag or anything. I can play like five or six instruments, I think. I'm classically trained pianist because I'm Asian and my parents are Asian. Self-taught guitar. Does clarinet count back in band class? <laughs> I'm gonna count it. I'm a bassist for my church. And I've subbed a few times on drums because when you're a pianist, you gotta at least have some adequate rhythm. What about you guys? Let's make it into a game. Which one of you can top that? All right, y'all, if you enjoyed this week's FDR, please smash that like button and subscribe and there'll be more videos to come. Don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin dot, acclimate that with my shoulder. I can my fin rod from Karasiformis to Parachirodon, hold on There's not another fish that you can wish for Live famsas, I finna one, I finna gone Three days without furt, I'm an addict Like fanatic, I'm a baddest No tabs, only dirt My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt We came to play, came to silence gang.